positive attacking outlook balanced against the results that are coming out week in week out. I think that's important in any team that you've got the balance in defence and attack. I think going back to probably this season, but certainly my time being here, we've been as good as we have been going forward. Maybe not so much on Saturday at Hibs, but they're a different side for what we face, what we face every week. Well, but again, I'll reiterate the point that we limited them to as little of chances as us, really. The one bit of real quality um, they got their goal from. But again, it's in the past, it's it's irrelevant. Um, but every team needs a balance. You need, you need your players that can go forward and create and hurt teams, but you also need to be able to deal with your own, your own back line, and particularly your own box, which I was really pleased with on Saturday, because that was one thing I was crit critical of my players, and critically myself as well, my staff, because we hadn't done enough, maybe. Not no maybe, we hadn't done enough as a group, let's, let's, let's just be honest, we hadn't done enough as a group, but they worked really hard on it, we worked hard on it, we put the sessions on, which, look, we've been doing. We just went through a spell where we were giving up cheap goals. Are we through that? I hope so. I believe we are because I've seen real encouragement on Saturday that we are through that. But again, it's one game. We need to prove that again on Saturday here, then we need to prove it the next Saturday and that we need that balance to be there consistently. The game on Saturday against the is going to be a very different game to the game we played against Hibs. Uh, it's here obviously at Dens Park but it's probably likely that Will be as offensive as Hibs were. How are you going to adjust to, to that sort of difference? We're used to it, uh, particularly in this league. I say that, but I think that's that's maybe been a wee bit unfair to our growth. I think they will come and they'll have a go at us. Um, and I thought on Saturday Hibs looked a lot less offensive than than what they were two weeks previous as well. And a lot of that was down to us. So look, teams do come and sit in. Certain ones in particular, we'll no name them, but I don't think I could class a broth as one of those that come and that just come and say, "No, we're we're just going to sit in," because they've got real real quality going forward as well that can hurt you. So they'll come with their game plan. But again, it, to me, it's it's about Dundee Football Club and it's about we can do. How do we address it? Well, we need to be first and foremost. We need to be like we have been going forward and we need to tighten up at the back, there's the two basics of football and, and, and we need to get our quality players on the ball and, and probably be a bit more ruthless when we get the chances, I'll, I'll use the, the Rafe Rovers game for example when, when they nick a point in the end and and we had the chances to, to be two in front, three in front in that game and that's where we need to be better at that end of the pitch. Um, it took us a while against Cove and I know I'm going back to other games but I'm just trying to think of, of certain games where, where that kind of happened and we need to be patient on the ball and we need to we need to get our, our attacking players on the ball and, and play with that confidence that, that, that we can go and hurt teams because when, when we do when we are at that level and with the players we've got we certainly can hurt teams but as I say we need to defend our own box and we need to take care of the other end of the pitch So far the, the season in the Championship is proven Anybody on the day. So, realistically, Dundee, like, two or three games obviously together in a run, could uh, make all the difference to you uh, towards obviously the, the end of the festive period? Absolutely, like, end, and that's again going back to what Steph says, I think that's that's this league. Emdy can beat MD. Um, it's, it's, we've, so, we've, we've seen that over the over well, the last couple of seasons in particular since since we've been in it. I'll no say it again, but it's every game's tough. Every team are every team are fighting for, for something, whatever it may be. Like it's the same when you go to Alo and again another really good team on their day. They came here in the first game of the season and we we won the game. No the first game, the first game we played them, I think we won the game. Jack Hamilton saves the penalty, but they played us off the pitch on that day. They came here in one of the second last games we played them off the pitch and you draw now now. So you look at that and people say, well, Allo are a part-time team. We got them a couple of weeks ago and we're, we struggled to get a point out of the game. So it's every game's completely different and, and every team are completely different and they're all fighting for a different cause. And 
the, the, the one thing every team's got quality but again it's it's irrelevant to us we just need to we need to be us and we believe with the players we've got that when we get it right then, then we're a match for any team and, and we can certainly affect any team in this league and we believe the league above but again talk is cheap we need, we need to prove it starting Saturday Games obviously at Dens Park on Saturday. That in itself will make a huge difference to the type of football that you'll play against. Abroad. Yeah, 100. Um, percent I think obviously there's a lot of diff- difficult away games in this league, um, and that, that's the main thing what I do. I got obviously our home form, um, try and get that as good as possible. Um, so no, I say they'll be coming here. So they'll be full of confidence. They know, they know what to expect. They came here last year as well. So um, no, it's, it's, it's about keeping the home form good and. And, and pushing on. Looking at the uh, results that have come out of the, the championship teams at the moment, it certainly has proved that basically anybody can beat yep. anybody on their day. So that in itself must be a positive thought for for the league. Ah, hundred percent. I think it's. I say I've been in. I've been in this league long enough now. Um, I think it's been the same most years. Um, you're not so. I say results are different every week. You're no, you're, you're no surprise anymore with what's happening. So, um, no, as I say we need to concentrate on ourselves. Um, you know, league form hasn't been good enough. So, um, it's a bit get rolling, as I say, rolling up the sleeves and and putting that right. Um, and hopefully we can start that off on Saturday. And they're looking towards obviously yourself and the difficulties that you're having. Uh, have you found it sort of relieving that you didn't have you know sort of more um, difficult symptoms during your? your Aye, hundred percent. And I say it. I, I know a few folk and a few friends in that that, are, that have struggled with it. I knew I know a few people that have been fine with it, so I think these different. Um, I think I was one of the lucky ones, to be honest. Um, as I say, I'd, I'd one day where I wasn't too great, but apart from that, um, I, I was really lucky. I was I was fine. So um, no, I, I, I'm thankful for that because um, I know as I say there'll be people out there struggling, um, and people still are struggling. So um, no, I'm, I'm grateful for that. That I was I was all right. How frustrating was it for yourself? Um, Ah, it's difficult. As I say, used to used to be in here majority of days and, and training with the boys and, and, and keeping yourself fit. And obviously, it was at a stage I couldn't even got got a run in the street and stuff like that. So it was a it was a case I tried to do stuff in the house. So it was frustrating. Um, obviously, having to watch the games on on the telly was was hard as well. No, no been there, no been a part of it. So um, no, it was difficult. But as I say, there's there's people, there's a lot of people going through that. Um, as I said, I just had to deal with it, and I say it, 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 it did tie back pretty quick. It wasn't it wasn't as if it was a slog. So um, no, I just just delighted that it's it's done with now, and hopefully, hopefully that it, it doesn't come back again, and hopefully other boys in the squad don't pick it up. Yeah.